Dear friends and comrades, welcome back to some more workers and resources. Soviet Republic and our, well, by now I'd say prospering town of Berlin. Um, but for it to prosper a little more and uh, especially generate a little more rubbles that we can then invest into our expansion, we do certainly need more workers. Um, and I think this episode we might at least lay the groundwork for a couple new construction buildings with our own building materials. So uh, let's get to it. Uh, for now, I only have this one construction office and I will actually let's have the game run a little bit. Um, I'm gonna build a second, hang on. First we need a little bit more equipment. Um, we have an asphalt paver and we have a roller. We got a couple dumpers, we got an open haul track, truck rather. I think we're okay to build asphalt roads. Um, so for that, we finally need some of these buildings active. Um, and that's gonna be a bit noisy now. We need the asphalt plant that... Yeah, let's just buy that one first. And that one we'll need... Oh, it already has a connection. Never mind. I was about to say it needs a gravel connection, but it already has one. It also needs bitumen, but uh, for now we have to buy those. We don't, we're not even near uh, close on uh, bitumen production. So we'll just buy this one and buy a couple of resources. And then we also need a bus route that chauffeurs worker there. And we'll start with a, well, just with a small micro bus and we're gonna repurpose those but for now there should be plenty for what we got going on we'll just go from here load up workers no everything but yeah workers and deposit them here there we go and then we'll copy this and bring it in the second one and we'll start i don't want to take up too many workers we only currently need a bit of asphalt um i want to take it slow with building up these because we do um, we do need a lot of gravel stockpiled, uh, so we don't get any interruptions. And because this uh, cement plant takes, I think, around 80 tons, the prefabs... Uh, well, not the prefabs, but this... Yeah, the gravel takes 30. The concrete also takes around 70, I think. So uh, once we get these built, we'll suck up a good 300 tons of gravel. So we need to have a bit of a stockpile, because we want to keep building. Anyway, okay, so we need uh, workers. They're gonna be chauffeured here, and we're gonna buy just a little bit of bitumen. That should be this. And uh, gravel is already available, which is great. It's also available here, which is also great. Uh, you guys, by the way, let me know if my um, my sound is too loud at the game. I don't know. Um, for me, it looks good. Uh, it, it looks good, yeah. <laughs> it uh, it feels good on the videos, but. Of course, I'm always open <coughs> to uh, improve the, the listening quality and, and watching quality. So any hints, suggestions at that are welcome. Anyway, good. So now our first asphalt is ready to be produced. That stuff cannot be stored, so it needs to be always produced on demand. Um, a truck will come here, a dumper, and uh, have some asphalt dumped. And here's the first couple. Oh no, those are the workers for for the coal plant. Okay. Now where are you going? Uh, I guess those are the workers for the uh, gravel processing plant. Whatever. Okay, um, speaking of coal though, before I forget, uh, we need to ramp up coal production a little bit because we will have um, the cement plant use coal and eventually we'll also have the brick plant use coal. So we need a little bit more uh, and we're gonna start that Maybe go up to 20, and then we'll have to monitor it. Um, let's take half of the maximum workers, like seven, and let's just see where it goes. Uh, we, we still have a little bit of a buffer, but once we build the cement plant again, it will suck up all the coal that it can into its local storage, which is a bit of the, the downside of these conveyors, because they will immediately transport it and not only pull it, so to speak, when they need it. But yeah. That is where we at right now. Okay, so now um, I'll build a couple roads. And I realize, you guys, it's difficult to see at night. 
but it's just some roads. Um, I'll extend these here. Actually, that was too... <coughs> oh, excuse me. That was too early. Let's just... Uh, get a route down here. And here. And here. It doesn't have to be pretty. It just needs to work. And there. And then we'll extend here and there. And then we'll start with our first asphalt route. Which is this here. Um, I like to do these in smaller pieces like one construction side and two uh, just because they go so very very slow um, they need a lot of need a lot of workers and they need mechanisms on these construction sites and uh, especially the paver which this little one here um, when we turned on the lights You shouldn't be required yet. Weird. Anyway, especially that one is really, really slow. Okay, so now we got the dumpers running around. Um, maybe we'll just get a second asphalt paver and roller. Would that be... Would that make sense? Um, I think so. I think so. We'll, we'll be constantly building roads. Um, if worse comes to worse, we can always move them to the uh, to our what's it called the the storage for cars here. I forgot the name. And uh, then we can just move them down to some other construction site if necessary. The, the investment won't be lost, and the people will eventually need pavers and rollers. So let's just have another one here um, and another roller. Oh, they're really cheap anyway. Well, consider what you will. But with 2,000 rubles, I could afford one privately. I mean, <laughs> it would be pretty, but I could buy a roller. And drive to work in style. Anyway, um, covered hall, we don't need that. Since we're here only building footpaths and roads. So we could buy another open hall. Yeah, let's get a second open hall, okay. That should be good. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Um, might move that one and exchange it for a dumper. Is that our first asphalt? No, it's gravel. Okay. <laughs> um, there are no workers. Oh, there are workers in here. Awesome. Okay. So now we can build uh, asphalt roads. I mean, nothing's happening now, but we could in theory do that. Good. So now we need to start the construction office for, for here. Um, and let us actually, I'll cut the road connection for now, because that's the only way I know stopping this from actually starting to take over all the construction sites. And then we'll fund it, 5,000, that's uh, not too expensive. Dum -dum -dum -dum. Actually, I'll have it run on higher speed. Okay, great. So, because usually it will search all these buildings here and uh, then I'll have a huge list of buildings that I don't want to... I just... I don't want to build roads here. I don't want to build footpath. Um, factory connections? Not really. I'll build those usually by rubles. They're not that expensive and just... Electric wiring for now neither, but maybe later. And conveyors and pipelines down the line maybe but for now no so you just build buildings good so now we can have it run again <coughs> connect here connect there and it should now list these two uh, but it cannot list it why not because it has no cars no nothing okay so what do we need for building buildings Ah, okay, so now it has... Whoop. Hang on, man. what is that? Brick factory, open storage. Oh, lots of stuff. Okay, yeah, that was my mistake. Okay, so for now, we need to go around and suspend construction on these. Don't really want to start here, because we need more workers first. Um, that was a planning, which is fine, but... Um, And this one, two. That should reduce the list of buildings to just conveyor towers. Um, 
Well, they don't have road connections. I don't have to worry about those. <coughs> oh, that's my voice today. Sorry, guys. Good. Uh, now we'll buy a couple new vehicles. So what do we need? We need workers. And I think I'll take the 52 passenger one. Yeah, let's be a bit conservative. Uh, have a bit less money. Okay, so now we need to bring... Every building needs... But for the foundation, they need asphalt and some gravel. Okay, so we do need dumpers. Let's get two of those. Um, then, of course, we need concrete, always. Um, so we need two of those. Okay. Um, we don't need pavers or rollers. We do need excavators. So I'd go with one excavator. I'm not sure if we actually need bulldozers. I think we just go with the excavators for now. Um, and then of course we need open haul trucks. Uh, not only to bring the machines, but also to bring materials. Um, I'm not sure... I think I'll go for these big ones because they're also going to be used to bring the prefab panels, the steel, the wood, the bricks. So... I think I'll go with those. Um, then we also need one covered hull, but not for now, because we also have electrical and mechanical components, and sadly they can't be delivered by open hull trucks. And what else? And the tower crane. I'll just get one. Uh, we could get these, but uh, yeah, I think it's okay. We'll just uh, get a road crane for now. They're just much easier to deploy. Uh, oh! We'll get the Czechoslovakian v3s because it's half the price and it's almost the same building speed uh, it is a bit slower has less engine power but we'll try it out i mean for now that should be okay good and now we need some sources of materials obviously um, we do need gravel that's going to be the same source here we need asphalt that's going to be this one Okay, now we come to the necessity of having concrete. Concrete is built here. Do we have a storage yet? 500 tons. It is it is a storage, but it's not much. Um, actually, let's find this one. Let's build the industry connections already. Uh, and they should be starting to... Yeah, the dumpers are moving out, so they should be starting to bring... <laughs> materials here. Uh, I'm also going to reduce the workers on this side because they're going to be missing elsewhere and we can't bring materials fast enough for them to be efficiently working. So I think this is good. Okay. Oh, I just love this. Look at that. That's our little bulldozer and the excavator. And they're distributing the gravel on the construction side. They're just planing this whole thing and then the next one's gonna be asphalt the dumpers gonna bring asphalt it's just glorious isn't it I never had a game where you really have all those many details in there where you have the whole construction I mean I guess Tropico would count uh, the early versions of Tropico but you didn't supply the building materials that's a whole other level so yeah construction has stopped because we okay, okay, okay. I thought there's no road connection but that there is a road connection Good, let's go on. Um, we do need the forklift garage, obviously. We do need that. Okay, and so far, that's gonna be the cement plant. And we need cement for concrete. Okay, guys, so, uh, you gotta cover your ears a bit now. <laughs> um, I'll just have it run a little faster. Actually, you know what? We'll just start here. Um, and we'll just buy the cement for now. So we can start. I mean, it's going to save us a lot of money already. Um, because it's going to save us the transport cost for the gravel and the, the rest of the materials. So that's good. Uh, hang on. How are we doing? Okay, so this one looks good. The dumpers are all busy. Okay. Never mind that. 
Yeah, they all look busy. Okay. <clears throat> Once we see a couple dumpers in here, I'll start more road construction projects. But for now, I think they're quite busy here, yeah. The paver is here waiting. Um, it needs... It needs asphalt, so... Oh, there we go. Uh, we don't need five workers, like three should be plenty. And then we'll just buy a little bit of cement. And to my... Uh, oh, we need this, okay. Fund construction here, okay. That should do it already, I think. Yep, and now it's gonna suck up just 80 tons from our storage. You know, the storage. Here's the storage. I mean, we do have a knife buffer, so it's okay. So now this one is supplied. And now we just need a couple workers, but there's two coming right here. Um, why they're not using the footpath, I don't know. But that's okay. And now we need to give this source of cement. Uh, concrete, rather. Okay, so now you need steel bricks, prefab panels. Ay, ay, ay. But now the two... Um, these guys, what's your order? Mixers, yeah. They should go. Oh, sweet. So now they're gonna go ahead and fetch some cement. And then construction can commence on these buildings here. I'm wondering why there's no excavator on the on the site, but yeah. Maybe it'll come. I'll actually connect up the uh, the road here. Like so. Uh, just make a nice curve, like so, okay. We might later uh, build a, like a kindergarten and school in here, because I think for these people here it is maybe not enough, yeah, it's already overflowing. But one thing after the next, uh, first we need to construct this here, um, and I think... Oh no, okay, I can't. I was about to say, I think I'll uh, just make a shortcut here while there's construction undergoing, but uh, maybe not. They can use the, the footways anyway. So there we go, now we have a bit of gravel on the side. But before they can start the ground, for the ground works, yeah, they do need concrete and asphalt, so. Hang on, let's see what we have in here. We got two dumpers, mixer and mixer. Yeah. I think, yeah, it, it might look slow for a start, the two dumpers, but if I buy more, um, later it's gonna... It's gonna be too much. I can't. I can't really. Um, what you call? Keep them working. Um, so the the way I, at least I feel. I'm, I'm, you guys can correct me. I'm gonna speed up a little bit so we get through the night. The way I feel this works is um, you have a construction office that always has like one building in, in its um, groundworks phase and the other one in the uh, what you call the well the rest of the building right the the internals. Um, the, where the prefab panels and all the other materials, the higher level materials, so to speak, are used. Um, and the groundwork can be laid by one portion of your uh, of your cars here, of your uh, mechanisms here, um, by the dumpers and the mixers and the excavators and the upper part that needs the, the open hull transporters and the cranes. And uh, that way you can al always have two buildings going. But for now to start it, I had to start two at once. Uh, actually, I didn't have to, I could just start one, but <laughs> I did start two at once, so that's the situation. And we're gonna be a little short of materials, but it should smooth out nicely, I think. We got our first constructed road, now the second piece is gonna be constructed, and now can we see the roller here? Yeah, we can see. So this guy's gonna crawl, see we are on max speed. This guy's gonna crawl along here, and he's not going one way, he's going back and forth, because apparently there's two two lanes, so, I mean, it does make sense, but it is hella slow. So, yeah. <laughs> I, that's why I bought a set of two there. Okay, we got open thingy things. We got a dumper that is not working. Uh, we can fix that. We can actually build a bit of... I'll buy a bit of gravel road here. Just like so, and then... We can build a bit of gravel wood here. Um, and 
And actually, I want to finish the gravel roads here. Okay, that's looking good. Nice. Uh, how are we going to do this? We can connect here. So we're going to uh, buy that last little piece because there's nowhere I can build it without interrupting my supply of loose stones for gravel production because nobody can get fuel anymore. But now we need to construct this piece and I think we'll just have... Well, first of all, we need to deconstruct here because we don't need you anymore like this. We'll just have you come around here. And we don't need this anymore. I'm gonna have you come around here and then go in here. And then we should be able to do this in one fell swoop. Oh no, no, no. Oh, that was close. We don't wanna buy the rubles. We wanna do it our own. There we go. Okay, that should work out because everybody can reach the, the thing going around here. Actually, it might be a little bit more elegant. Yeah, that was pretty stupid. Why not just do it here? Because then we don't have to go around the the actual uh, station. We'll leave both roads. I mean, the, the AI can figure it out. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's a little bit shorter. And you can see how they slow down. Uh, here they can drive 60. On these they can drive 30. And I think the dumpers can go up to 70. So uh, we might want to build gravel roads here, but um, not gravel, asphalt, but I think it's a, just a little, a little too much. Anyway, um, we also need it here. So simple way to solve this is just go here and there. Why are you guys supplying the... Ah, okay. So let's buy these conveyors. I mean... Yeah, let's just buy that. And you gotta cover your ears now, because that's gonna be one loud and annoying. Because um, they're gonna be sucking up our building materials. We're gonna need them eventually anyway. Um, I just wanted to build them as I go. But apparently the game is smarter than me, so we'll just do this. We saved a little bit of money, but I certainly don't want workers. Yeah, see? It's drawing up, sucking up workers, and I certainly don't want that. Okay, let's see. It's bringing coal up here, down here, into this, and then we can buy this. Good, where was I? Uh, we want to buy a piece of road here, and then they can buy pass it here. Should be good. Okay, we got gravel here, we got this here, we got the asphalt, we got the gravel, very nice. Okay, next one's gonna be cement and prefabs, but I think we're still gonna be... Yeah. Oh no, now they need prefabs. Oh, shoot. Um, do we have enough of a gravel buffer? I think so, I think so. Problem is we also need workers for this here. Ah, that's gonna be, uh, that's gonna be a bit tricky. But yeah, once we get that going, I think we'll be okay. Because we need more workers for the coal. We need then workers for the cement plant. And it's 187,000. Let's just do it. Oh, we also need a couple forklifts. And I'm just going to buy it out. They're not that expensive. So there we go. I could also buy these construction material thingies here. Um, the open storages and then buy the resources there and like simulate but but why would i do that i mean they still cost me the shipping cost if i buy them here probably even more if i so yeah i'll just go ahead and finish the the plant here and we're gonna go with <coughs> uh oh actually let's see it seems to be enough to have one minibus driving back and forth here so i'm just gonna leave it at that um, buy a second one and have that guy, if I actually could select it, go from here to the upcoming cement plant. Just gotta wait for it to finish. It's quite huge, that thing. There we go. Oh, and also need to specify you're gonna unload workers, load workers here, and don't unload, and go, go, go. Bring the workers here, okay. 
Um, so you're gonna do cement. We already have a full coal storage and we should be... Yeah, we still have a little buffer, but like I said, we gotta be mindful. Because if we run out of coal, we run out of electricity. We run out of coal, we run out of electricity. And uh, then we're... Well, we also need some gravel, obviously. Uh, and then we'll have a real problem. There we go. And that's gonna suck up blah, 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 75 tons. There we go. But we still have 400, so it should be all good. And we got eight workers here. We don't need that many. Just like, yeah, like ten should be should be perfectly fine. And now we could have a couple tasks. Uh, oh, first we finish you. Okay, so now we got the forklifts, and we need to set them some tasks. They need to have this building and this building for starters. They need to unload here, load here, unload there. And then we can actually stop buying cement. And then we can start with the prefabs. Can we afford this already? Yeah, we have to. We pretty much have to. And I'll fund this one as well. Oh yeah, funds are draining now. Um, actually, I'm gonna go ahead to start construction, buy a couple of panels here. Just a little. Um, so we can get started because the construction site here don't have any source for prefab panels. Actually we're gonna want to have prefab here and steel. I'm gonna have a dual purpose for now. And we're gonna limit, just do it this way, prefab panels, somewhere there's 3%, okay. And then we're gonna go like so, maybe 75. And we're gonna purchase 14 tons of steel. Oh, cool, 6,000. Sure, whatever. And uh, then once we've finished these here, we're gonna uh, move the steel over there and have this be a pure prefab panel uh, buffer storage, so to speak. Okay, 65 workers. Uh, certainly not. Certainly not. No, 20 should be. 20 should be plenty. And for that, we're gonna probably need the second minibus. Driving back and forth. Okay, and now we also need... Hang on, hang on. We also need... to add a new connection, which is the prefab panel plant. Or the factory, rather. And unload some cement over here. And now we can watch those busy bees. And they should should start shipping. Yeah, there they go. Nice. Okay, and prefab panels are getting produced. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, we don't need five workers here. Certainly don't need five workers. Like three, maybe two. Two is good, right? Three is better. Like half. Should be plenty for what we got going on. And there we go. They have their cement, they have their gravel, they have producing prefabs. I don't even think we need to buy anymore. Let's see. That should slowly come up. Why isn't that? Ah, there it goes. Okay. So I think now we can stop buying prefab panels. Just need to buy the steel. Good. Very, very good. Uh, we're currently out of money though. And you guys are not working on anything, okay. But that is because now we have... Yeah, they need prefab panels and they need prefab panels as well. So, those will be shipped by open storage trucks. Maybe we can... Yeah, let's, let's get one more to speed this up. Let's get one more. Even though we still have to finance, yeah, we're gonna watch our finances by now. We still have to build the brick factory. Um, also, I'm gonna start the asphalt road here. Um, is that working? It should work, right? Let's find out. Yeah, okay, it's working. Very good. Actually, then we can also build 
this piece of road up here that should also be good okay um what was i saying so we do have two buildings that are in the upper layers now of like they need prefab panels and the high level resources so we can actually i'm gonna run it on normal speed now we can actually start the next residential block and i should do that because we need loads of workers to get more money um which one i think this one here 96 yeah because they deserve it that's the highest quality building we can build and the people really deserve that. Hmm. I like so. And then we'll have a road connection here. Right there. Okay, and that should be found by the construction office, and now the mixers and dumpers should have something to do. Oh, we don't want 75 workers on that side. Certainly not. Um, there's a road connection here. Yep, yeah, now it found one. Nice. Okay, now the... Okay, here comes the tower crane that will probably go to one of these. And now the mixers go out and the dumpers should follow suit. And here soon people should be busy as well. Good, good, good. Yep, there comes the paver. Awesome. Okay, um, how is it looking here? Oh, almost there. Good, then we can deconstruct this piece of road. Actually, somehow we need to go finish this bit of road. Um, I don't quite know how we're going to do that. Because there's footways all over the place. Probably just go out here. Go here. And then just connect to here. Ah, oh, lucky us, we still have a couple of free excavators. Okay, so people could, if they want to go there... Yep, that should work out nicely. Very good, and then we can finish the gravel road here in a couple smaller pieces, though. Yeah, that's not so great. Okay, like so. Um, we could probably deconstruct this. I don't know why they're still taking that route, but probably they're... Uh, why? Can't he go through here? Okay, he's stuck here now. Let's buy this one. Wasn't that like they could... Really? I have to buy these now? Ah, fine. Can you get it now? And apparently he can. That's weird, because I thought when they're driving over here um, and they already have a preset route, even if there's construction, they will be able to drive over the construction just on their way back they won't be able to do it apparently i was mistaken though oh nice so the gravel is being sucked up quicker than we can produce it did that just suck up 400 tons of gravel i guess prefab panel production is a little bit more expensive than i thought let's just go with five workers i mean we really don't need that much Oh, and we can't keep up with the prefabs. Uh, okay, but it's just a start. I guess we need to probably buy some. Let's see. Let's keep an eye on this. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, 32 tons more. Yeah, it's quite a bit that they need. Yeah, 53 tons. It's quite a bit. And production is a bit slow here. So maybe we'll... But we're already short on gravel. It should speed up now. There's a couple workers coming here. Yeah, seven. Yeah, it's speeding up a bit now. Hmm. Maybe we'll keep the 20 and bring a bit of a bigger bus to that <coughs> to that station. We're up to five tons now. Yeah, that's never gonna be enough. Here's the next. Oh yeah, that's never gonna be enough. Okay, so we need to buy a couple more prefab panels here still. Until we can get the production going. We just don't have enough people. I'm, I'm really reluctant to have bigger buses here. Because we already... Yeah, we already have problems here. I mean, there's buses coming and all. But they have zero workers. Eight workers, what the... Yeah, these... These big construction sites are really sucking up our manpower. Um, so we'll have a very limited earning potential for the time being. And the more we construct, the more people we need. So it's it's going to be hard to kickstart. But yeah, we're, we're on a good way. I mean, this here is not that much. To f Even if we have... Yeah, it's 4,000 more. Um, but I do want the people to build their own houses. It's just a different feeling if you touched all the bricks yourself and put them into place. And we don't want to deprive our workers of that. Uh, we might want to reduce the amount of people in the construction sites there. Because uh, that is really eating into our ability to service all the buildings we need. This here bothers me sometimes because... Yeah, it's going to build the, the foundation there. But why don't you use... Oh. Never mind. I was about to say, why don't you use the open haul cargo? But yeah, <laughs> those trucks are ferrying uh, prefabs back and forth. So never mind. I said that. Anyway, guys, uh, we're late already. I thought we could finish these uh, this episode, but it doesn't look like it. And if you look down the city, there's construction going on everywhere. Uh, but it does it does come together nicely. I feel the trees have grown. Here, the school is hidden a bit in the trees. Um, we have a couple of bushes here around our beautiful city hall. Um, we only have 73 years of life expectancy, so that there's some room to improve. But I think it's due to the people being near to pollution here. Oh yeah, 67 years of expectancy. If we go to the people live near the greenhouses, 76. Yeah, that's 10 years. That's quite a difference. So we might want to have. You might want to move this one um, up here or into this little area there. Anyway, that is going to be stuff for another episode. This episode we're going to end here. We finally finished our plant a little bit earlier than I wanted, but we finished our plant um, construction here, our, our building materials construction, even though currently we still have to buy here and there, but that's, that's A-OK -okay as long as we get the system going. Uh, you can see the construction offices are very busy, all the machines going, working somewhere. Cool stuff. Next episode, we're going to expand on that. I'm going to pause it here. You guys have a wonderful day and see you around for the next episode.